What's up guys, Luffy Squeaky King here, back with more Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we finished off Rico Harbor, and then we, well, we then we entered into Gelato Beach and finished off two of the missions. Um, and in this one, we are going to continue on in the Sandbird Legend, or Legend of the Sandbird story or thing or whatever, and go into Mission 3, and you're about to see why I'm calling it the Legend of the Sandbird after the last mission. Okay, you know that Wiggler that was up on top of the tower? Well, as you can see, he is quite pissed. So, what you gotta do, this is a boss fight, technically. What you gotta do, is you basically have to inflate these things, and not get hit by Wiggler. He's gonna run around, you gotta wait for him, and then you gotta inflate these things until basically, until these things pop up, and then he will get knocked over by them. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to quickly jump on top of him, um, hurry, then s um, slam down on the spot that is the arrow is pointing to. There we go. Okay, I almost didn't even get him. Then he's going to stand up, and you just, like like before, just rinse and repeat. Do it three times total, and you're good. Uh, didn't get him in time. Okay, I'm going to spray here. Why did it get launched? What you, Mario, what are you yelling for? Come on. Okay, he's over. He's in, it's in the back of him, that's good. And there you go. One more time, he's gonna do it, and we are done with this mission. Then we can get on to one of the harder missions in this game. Mario, will you stop quit yelling when you go up like an inch? And where's Wig How does Wiggler go up on the hills? I've never seen that before. Where is he? Come on, knock him over, knock him over. Get over here, Wiggler. Okay, apparently I have to knock him over with this one. Come on. Oh, crap. Dang it, he blocked me. Uh, the reason I'm so getting close to the water is because, well, that's where he's going to flip over into. This ought to do it. There we go. That's why. I know. Gotta hurry. Crap. I missed him. Oh, I didn't miss him. There we go. And that is it. Wiggler is gone. And why do the shines keep going over there? That's just not convenient. Especially since there's only like one other place to knock over Wiggler other than, well, where I just knocked him out in the very last phase of the fight. Alright, so there we go. 28 shines down. So, anyways, continuing on in the Legend of the Sand... Or the nice pose, Mario. The next one is... The Sandbird is Born. And this level is somewhat difficult, I guess. It's especially difficult for the blue coin... to get the blue coins in this mission, because, well... Basically, in this one, you... Where you get the shine is an entirely new area of itself, just like the secret missions. Although this one is not, because you don't lose flood, and well, it has nothing. It doesn't have the same like music and stuff, so it's not very much the same. And also, yes, it has blue coins in it, and 
you can always come back and get those like by redoing this mission. If you want to get them the first time and still complete the mission successfully, uh, well, good luck to you. Let me just say that. Um, okay. The sandbird is born, and what we're supposed to do is slide down this, hit this, and fall into the is into the half opened egg. Half opened egg, I mean half of it, the egg. And all you're supposed to do is just jump onto the sandbird. This is him right here. Uh, get on him. And you're gonna wanna grab you gotta grab all the coins. There's seven coins on his back alone. And you gotta hurry because there's a certain point where you will not be able to grab them anymore without, well, dying. See, blue coins are on the clouds, and they are very hard to get without, you know, and still reach the sandbird in time. Um, last one you're going to you're gonna want to grab is probably going to be the one on his head, because that's the one what place you're going to want to stay when... Well, he's doing it right now, actually. Okay, he's going to start rotating. Uh, too soon. And you want to get on the side of his head. It's easier than doing it on the wing or the tail. In my opinion, mostly because the tail moves around too much and the wings are too small. And you're just going to want to stay, on, stay like this until he rotates back. Like that. And then you just sit tight until he gets all the way to the top where the 8th red coin is placed and then that's also where the shine is. Yeah, I guess this level isn't too hard without getting the blue coins, but with well, but if you try to get them, it's murder. The sandbird actually travels surprisingly fast. You just don't notice because you're on top of it. Okay, there it is. Get the red coin, and we are done here. All right, Legend of the Sandbird is complete. Now we can do the rest of the of Gelato Beach. Yeah, I'm getting all the shines done at a much quicker rate now. I'm happy for that. The rate I was going was going to take me something like 50 episodes to finish this LP, which would have been ridiculous. I'm shooting for more for like 40 at most. Il Piantissimo Sand Sprint. Alright, this one is very easy. Okay, basically, okay, you're about to meet one of the biggest Pianta wannabes ever. Why you'd ever want to be a Pianta, I, I don't even know. Especially since this guy... Well, check this out. He's a Pianta wannabe, but he's black. Dude, you've got it good, and you're, like, Italian. You're black, you're Italian, why would you ever want to be a Pianta over that? As good as it gets. Anyways, basically, you're just supposed to race him to the flag at the top. It's a very easy race. Um, the only problem is, this is probably the hardest part right here, all you gotta do is, it just involves a lot of wall jumping, but other than that, it's very easy. Um, best way to beat him here is just to cut across the grass like this. And there you go. All done. And there's that slowpoke. And he's still laughing. Anyways, there we go. There's the shine. And, yeah. Alright. Next mission, Red Coins in the Coral Reef. Alright. Um, actually, now that I think about it, we might be able to get two, this one and the next one, next shine done by the end of the video. Alright, Red Coins in the Coral Reef. Coral Reef, sorry. Um, pretty simple level. Just another one of those Red Coins ones. Um, Alright. Now, there are two reasons why this one is somewhat difficult. 
Uh, let's get that blue coin real quick that's in this school of fish. And it actually involves a school of fish. That's the reason this is somewhat difficult. Um, there are two red coins like this blue one that are um, basically have the same animation as a as the fish. And the problem is, is that they can disappear inside the rocks. And you never know where they will pop out. So that can be troublesome, to say the least. Um, or all around just frustrating. Uh, just gonna collect them all as fast as possible and get this over with. Like, a, well, of course I am. Um, there is one fish around here that he's not too much of a trouble in this um, mission or in this level, this whole area actually. But um, you will, there he is. He's that pink fish over there. You will encounter him and see red coins going to the rocks. You will encounter him in later missions. And oh crap, he's coming after me. Um, he will try to drag you under the water, like all the way to the bottom. Now in this mission, it's not so bad because as soon as you get to the bottom, he lets go of you, and then you know, obviously, this. Get back here. Um, you can just swim back up and you probably won't lose all your health. But in later missions, like, um, for those of you who played this game, you'd know it called Noki Bay. When he drags you to the bottom, there's no way you'll get back in t back up in time without losing all your energy. Unless you get really lucky and collect all the coins on the way up, if there are coins in that area at all. So, you're going to want to watch out for him. Anyways, um, where's that? There it is. Don't go into the rocks, please. No, no, no. Don't go into the rocks. Come on, you stupid school of fish. Get out of there. There we go. Swam right into me. Alright. Well, spun right into me. I don't know how you put it. It's a freaking red coin. Anyways. Uh, we got two more red coins to collect. If I can find them, there's, the la there's one more. And then I just gotta click the eighth one, and then we are done. Mmm... Yeah, not that hard. Uh, where are you, stupid red coin? There it is. Alright, there we go. And this one is placed up on top of a rock for, you know, because it loves us. Uh, two minutes left. You know what? I think I'm going to save the Shadow Mario mission for the next video. Um. So yeah, there we go. So anyways, this is Obby Screwking. If you like my videos, please subscribe. I will see you guys next time.